I came to Geneva following uh, up on last week's discussions uh, at the U.S.-Russia Strategic Stability Dialogue, the NATO-Russia Council, and the OSCE on the crisis in Ukraine and broader European security issues. Our objective was to determine whether Russia is prepared uh, to take the diplomatic path and other necessary steps to de-escalate the situation in Ukraine. This was not a negotiation, but a candid exchange of concerns and ideas. I made clear to Minister Lavrov that there are certain issues and fundamental principles that the United States and our partners and allies are committed to defend. That includes those that would impede the sovereign right of the Ukrainian people to write their own future. There is no trade space there. None. We will share uh, in writing next week uh, our, uh, our ideas, uh, our response to concerns that Russia has raised, concerns uh, that we have that we will share again in, in writing with Russia. Uh, we intend, based on the conversation today, based on uh, that, um, uh, that paper as well as the paper we received from Russia, to have follow-on conversations after that. If it proves useful and productive for the, uh, the two presidents uh, to meet, to, to, call, uh, to talk, uh, to engage, to try to carry things forward, uh, I think we're fully prepared to do that. Uh, President Biden has uh, met here in Geneva with uh, President Putin. He's um, spoken to him on the phone or via uh, video conference uh, on a number of occasions. Uh, and if uh, we conclude, uh, and the Russians conclude, that uh, per, uh, the best way to resolve things uh, is through a further conversation between them, we're certainly prepared to do that.